separate files too, shall we? Now we have managed to get one, two, and one. So we have three, and need at least one more. I traded in most of my fortune for a piece of gum. Let's hope that was a worthwhile investment. So do I. Let's see. Let us go... to jail. I only need a bit of... Uh... Pretending to be stone drunk shouldn't be too hard, but first I somehow need to make sure I don't get locked in the wrong cell. There. Getting in there shouldn't be easy now. Now I could get stone drunk or I could just pretend to. Yuck. This stuff is disgusting. I spat it back into the bottle. It's safer that way. After all, I need a clear head. But I bet the horrible taste in my mouth will linger. Alright. Let's get in the cell, then. If I want to get into the drunk tank with the blue stone, this might be a good time to demonstrate my superior acting skills. Well, hello there, per perdit thing. I'm t totally plas plastered, but I wanted to... <laughs> Thank you so much. Really? Let me smell your breath, then. <sighs> Ugh, that smells of cheap booze. But you don't really look wrong to me. I think we had better perform a blood test. If we must. Please, take a seat over there. Over there, I'm standing right next to it. I'm going to take a blood sample now. You will only feel a short sting. Ow. There, that was all. Not again. That would be my husband. He calls me every 20 minutes just to make sure I'm really working and not cheating on him. As if I had a chance of finding someone else the way I look. Please wait here. I'll be right back. You should maybe take that test with you. Otherwise I might cheat. Not on you, but... I need to think of something quick, or my little bruise will be exposed. We can... put some... alcohol in I'm the syringe, I'm going to maybe? dilute my blood with a little alcohol. Then she will certainly have to put me in the drunk tank. <laughs> All right, so now we get to continue. I'm now going to put the blood sample in the analyzer. Your alcohol level is 0.37%. How do you manage to talk or sit up straight? And how come you're even still alive? But if anyone deserves to sober up in one of our cells, it's you. No doubt about that. Come along then. Well, she's Russian, is she? They eat vodka long all the time, don't they? That's all. 
The key won't go in. The lock must be blocked somehow. Good thing we have more than one drunk tank available. Here we go. I have to think about how to... Please hand me your possessions. I will keep them safe while you're in here. I have to think about how to get out later, I suppose. There seems to be another cell next to this one. A very musical one. Hello. You play really well. Thank you. I got a lot of time to practice. Oh. How long have you been locked up here? No idea. Is the war over yet? Yes, and Napoleon has been banished to Elba. What did you do? Oh, they accused me of all kinds of things. Actually, though, I am completely innocent. Yes, I guessed as much. <laughs> well, here's this blue stone. A stone from the mosaic depicting a black king. Can I take it? I can't pull it from the wall just like that. And I don't have any stuff. Two very comfortable bunks. At least all those maggots, sow bugs, and beetles appear to find them comfortable. Wait. No sleeping then. We have a chair. A simple wooden chair. I can think much better standing up. Right. Broken ball. There's a big hole in it. The result of frequent use or rather excessive violence? Why is there a ball in here? And there's a spoon. A metal spoon. There is no spoon. I'm gonna take it anyway. Uh, it's metal, maybe I can scrape it out. Hey, you're not going to find right out of that cell, are you? Who? Me? No, no. Wouldn't dream of it. Good. In that case, don't let me hear any more cursing and scraping. Oh, well, that didn't help me much. Coat hooks. Who would want to take anything off in a cell as filthy as this one? <sighs> That's a good point. Window. I never imagined that I would end up in jail someday. And of my own free will at that. And I need to get out of here too. Whoa. Behind this is my neighbor in another cell. Hello? Are you there? Yes. You're lucky to catch me in. I was just about to go shopping. Ha <laughs> ha. Could you do me a favor and... Play your harmonica some more? Huh. You mean you want me to use my musical star performance as a cover-up? And you can scrape away at that wall? To be absolutely honest, yes. Just my luck. I finally get a bit of company, and already you're talking about leaving again. Sorry, but I've got some really important things to see to. Never mind. But before you leave, at least do me a favor and solve a little riddle for me. I just love riddles, you know. Is that really necessary? Yes. All right, then. Shoot. I'm thinking of a three-digit number. You need to guess which one. Don't worry. I will give you a few clues. The first digit is a number between one and five. Take a good look around your cell. It doesn't matter how long you search, you will never find the answer. The second digit is simple. They have you trapped. It is an odd number, larger than one. And finally, the last digit, definitely even, and also to be found in your cell. They all stand, but not all of them can walk. What? Are you quite sane? Yes. Thanks for asking. Let me know when you think you have the answer. Right, let's hear that again. I, I was paying attention, but I forgot the first one. I think I figured out the answer to your riddle. I can hardly wait. 
No, 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 no. I've got to interrupt our chat for a minute. No problem. I need to repeat it, but let's just see. Star. Uh, yeah, last one is chair. I think about standing and such. Put that before. Behind this yeah. is. Hello. Yes, you're right. I want to repeat it, damn it. I've got to interrupt our chat. No problem. One of them is these. One, two, Hello? Yes. I think I... I can hardly wait. Three. And what was the second digit? The riddle was quite simple. Nine. Nine. And the last digit. The answer to the riddle was in your cell, too. They all stand, but not all of them can... Four. Four. Close, but not close enough. Don't worry, though. I'm giving you another chance. Um, I want you to repeat the damn thing. I don't remember the riddle. Not all of it, anyway. I think nine and four. I. I can hardly wait. The first digit is a number between one and five. The riddle was, take a good look around in your cell. It doesn't matter how long you search, you will never find the answer. So, what is the first digit? I will not find it. Right, so it's not three, four, or nine. One. And what was the second digit? The riddle was quite simple. They had me trapped. I think that's some nine. Nine. And the last digit. The answer to the riddle was in your cell, too. They all stand, but not all of them can walk. So four or six. Four. Close, but not Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna cut and uh, show you the right answer.
I think... I can hardly... One. And what? Nine. And the last... Six. Close, but not. I've got to interrupt our chat. No problem. Counting and I have been figuring it out. The first one is five because I can count nothing here that can be counted to five. And of course, this is. In. So that's nine. And uh, they have legs, but not all can walk. Those four can walk. Nina can, she has two. So there are, there are six legs in the room. Let's try that one. I haven't actually tested Hello? it. Hello? Are you there? Yes, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. I... I can hardly... Five. Five. And what was the second digit? That would be nine. Nine. And the last digit... The answer to the riddle was... It. That would be six. Six. Wow, I'm impressed. What a shame that this probably means I won't be able to enjoy your company much longer. But you can be sure that you have my eternal gratitude. Got the stone. Now I need to get out of here. Right. What do you want? I'm sober again. Excuse me, that can be. You had a blood alcohol level of 47 percent just now. Something must have gone wrong with the blood sample. Either your measurement was wrong or the sample was manipulated. Manipulated? By whom? Me. Search me. Anyway, I insist on a second test. And if that proves positive too, my lawyer will sue you for procedural error. Procedural error? Yes. No one but you can confirm that the blood test was carried out according to the proper procedure. There wasn't even a doctor present. You had no authority to take a blood sample. What? <laughs> so, either you release me and fast, or I'll hit you with so many charges, this place will be closed down in no time. Closed down? This is a police station. Not for long. With all those bus races and fucking children and some TV these days, suddenly everybody is an expert on blood sampling. Come on, Alfred, and don't show your face around here again. Oh, yes, and don't forget your car. It doesn't look that bad. I'm sure she could get a new guy or girl if uh, that should be a factor. Yeah, anyway, I have another stone. I'm only missing this one. And just let's hope that's enough. However, we do need some stuff. We need some water. I think I can... Uh, Fill up the broken ball with water from the fountain. It appears to be quite useful. This fountain. battered soccer ball makes a perfect container for water. So it would seem. We need some water for the fountain, which is here. I think he's gonna stand around there for a while. I think he has to see that he have to turn it back and just pay sooner or later. Oh well. 
fill the entire fountain this way? Oh, joy. This will keep me on my feet for a while. Back and forth. All right. That should be enough. Great. So let us start it up. Because we need to wash. I think I will switch on the fountain. Don't reach though. Hmm, a water jet doesn't reach the ceiling. I suppose that would have been too easy. I had better switch that fountain off. Water pressure is uh, equalized upon, uh, around, around all those jets. So if we plug uh, some of them, I'm going to try and plug up one of the water jets with this candle. Right. It worked. I even managed to plug up two of the jets at once. This pacifier. All right. This plugged up one of the jets. Is that enough? That will work. Stick. No. Maybe it was enough. Let's let's give it a whirl. I think I will switch on the fountain. It worked! Yay, it worked! The water jet rinsed the crumbling paint off the scene. I had better switch that fountain off. No, I just need to get it. still be useful? No, not that thing. That thing. If I stand on the fountain, maybe? Yes. I should be able to reach it that way. But I need to watch out so the stone doesn't fall on my head. It happened to me on a few occasions. Duck! That was a close one. Right. Guess we go back to uh, um, cemetery then. They call this model the duck. <laughs> Seems to be an old map of what is France these days. There's a legend on the panel next to it. The king was in dire straits. He had withdrawn to Provence, and the options he had left did not bode well. The peasants were rising to the north, and the reinforcements from the kingdom of Navarre, who had just crossed the border, were forced to go up against a massive fortress to the east. Meanwhile, his opponent sat back and eagerly watched the spectacle unfold from his country estate in Brittany. Oh boy. Let's just put the stones there first, shall we? Um, There are obviously still some stone.
I inserted all the stones, but I suppose their exact placement makes a difference as well. That's true. So, map. Seems to be an old map. The yeah. king was at the peasants were rising to the seems to be an old map of what is France these days. The king was in dire straits. He had withdrawn to Provence, and the options he had left did not bode well. The peasants were rising to the north, and the reinforcements from the kingdom of Navarre, who had just crossed the border, were forced to go up against a massive fortress to the east. Meanwhile, his opponent sat back and eagerly watched the spectacle unfold from his country estate in Brittany. Brittany, Provence is the king. Why a black king, white king? Probably. sense. south here. Sort of assume that it's like this is north, this is south, but seems to be an old map of what is France these days. There's a legend on the panel next to it. The king was in dire straits. He had withdrawn to Provence, and the options he had left did not bode well. The peasants were rising to the north, and the reinforcements from the kingdom of Navarre, who had just crossed the border, were forced to go up against a massive fortress to the east. Meanwhile, his opponent sat back and eagerly watched the spectacle unfold from his country estate in Brittany.
rooms as well. Right. Then it makes sense. Sorry, I thought I could only move those. Alright. Um, this king. Let's assume he is there. Horsemen's one there. They will meet a tower there. The king is there. What is that? No, that didn't work either. Let's look again. Seems to be an old map of what is France these days. There's a legend on the panel next to it. The king was in dire straits. He had withdrawn to Provence, and the options he had left did not bode well. The peasants were rising to the north, and the reinforcements from the kingdom of Navarre, who had just crossed the border, were forced to go up against a massive fortress to the east. Meanwhile, his opponent sat back and eagerly watched the spectacle unfold from his country estate in Brittany. bridge emerging from the ceiling in a chapel that is 350 years old whatever lies behind this door it must be invaluable I can only hope and pray that this is Cardinal Coubertin's secret archive let's hope so wow what a sight Latin. I learned some Latin in school, but not enough to read through a whole archive. Remember, you've still got me. Hooray! Just how did you do it? To cut a long story short, I did really well. You did. Indeed. But I haven't been idle myself. I managed to obtain some information that should help us find the documents fairly soon. That was fast. I cannot believe how well preserved these records are. We've got something right here, along with the Purator's Cordus documents that Brother Bernard sent to the Cardinal back in the 17th century. Let me recap what I have found out so far. It seems that Zendona returned from one of his pilgrimages to the Holy Land a changed man. Apparently, he had a vision during this journey. From then on, he was completely obsessed with founding a theocratic state. Very modest. Yes, but extremely convincing, as we know. He visited small villages as a preacher of repentance, warning the sinners that the day of judgment was nigh, and uttering dark prophecies. Which he personally made come true. A reign of terror based on everyone's fear of the apocalypse. Yes, and remarkably successful. His following grew almost by the hour. Especially in rural areas, people flocked to him in droves. The harbingers of the apocalypse are listed here again. First pestilence and disease, then the punishment of the greedy, followed by war, earthquakes, fire, and a great flood. We all know that, but what comes next? The harbingers are supposed to make the rulers of the world gather in the new Babel and hold council. That's where Puritus Cordis is planning to destroy them one and all in order to create a new world order. The sect thinks itself the elite of humanity. The new Babel. What can that... New York! It could mean New York! Puritas Cordis wants to annihilate the UN General Assembly. We have to call my father. He... He will go down, along with the rest of the unworthy ones. We represent the will of God, 
No one can stop us. Least of all you two. Come along. Quick! Run! So, we meet again, Ms. Kalenkov. You remember me, don't you? The charming barkeeper aboard the Calypso? But enough with the pleasantries. Regrettably, your continued attempts to stop us are about to come to an abrupt end. Oh, no. No! There goes another nuisance. Can we get going now, or would you rather follow your pal? No? All right, let's go then. We are taking a little trip to the countryside. I've been stuck in this cell for hours, waiting for that Pat Shelton character to come back. Wish I knew what he wants with me, and how Nina is involved in all this. There's got to be some kind of connection to what happened in Indonesia. Okay, let me think. They deliberately caused a volcanic eruption, and I'm a witness. If I follow that thought through, I can't help but suspect they're probably none too eager to let a witness to their evil doings run around free. Which tells me this is not going to be a picnic. I'd better get out of here. And fast. The question is, how? I have got to find something to help me escape. That is true. With all things going on, I think uh, we will continue that in uh, the next video. In the meantime, this was your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys. <laughs>